up on your block, I'm banging on that Nina. I feel like John Cena, all my diamonds, Aquafina. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony Digital bringing back another visual. We are outside of Versus ATL as we speak right now in the heart of East Atlanta Village, man. I hit up the homie Leo Tony, we can come through. He said, of course, we're gonna go check out the store before it even opens right now. Give you guys a good look on the inside of this upcoming clothing sneaker boutique. It has all the fashion you need as well as the sneakers you need. So without further ado, man, let's go ahead and get into it, man. Let's get it. Oh, what's going on, on boy? What's going on, what's going on man? man? It's the homie Leo right here, the what's owner good, of Versus ATL. Yeah, y'all coming. going to come through, chop it up, get a couple questions with you, ask you how about the store and all that. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Pull up, yeah. your grill yeah. with a ski mask. Yeah. Pull up, yeah. your grill yeah. with a ski mask. Yeah. All right, guys, so we're with Leo right now, one of the owners of Versus ATL right now. And I wanted to ask, man, how did this all start up? Bro, honestly, it goes all the way back, bro. Like, um, it's myself, it's my business partners, uh, Danny and John. All three of us had a major vision to bring something dope to the Atlanta, to, Atlanta, uh, to the world that was gonna connect generations. Pretty much, we were all fascinated and we always collected vintage, we always collected kicks, we always collected streetwear. Uh, we were always on the scene of like selling things and uh, trading things. And we just always had an appreciation for the culture of threads and just sneakers. So what we decided to do is we decided to come up with Versus ATL. Uh, a lot of people always ask, how did the name come about? It's a dope logo. What does it mean? Honestly, this is the honest truth. A lot of people know everybody in the group so all three of us, we sold things. The business was once called Vintage Solutions Clothing, which was pretty much a name that I created um, behind the brand. And we wanted something that was dope that didn't read vintage. Uh, before we opened up the shop, we were basically like, yo, let's, let's do something simple, eating pizza on punts at Fellini's. Mm -hmm. And John brought out the idea, he was like, bro, VS versus, let's leave it there. Less than five minutes. We ran with the name Versus ATL. A lot of things in the shop, when you think of 90s gear, when you think of 80s vintage, a lot of things were sports related, so it kind of tied to the theme, the and it just naturally flowed. And the name just went from there. So I would like to say, honestly, for the people out there, because this is a question that many people ask me to ask the owners of these stores and stuff, what advice would you give to somebody out there that wants to do this? Do something, sell, either selling sneakers or, or selling clothes? Like, What do they need to do? What they stay consistent. Uh, like whatever you do, be consistent. Just do good business. At the end of the day, everything else is gonna come together. If you do yeah. good business, you let people know you fuck with them, they gonna naturally fuck with you. Exactly. Um, Fun fact, not to cut you off, we were just talking about this. Three years ago, three fuck, this just happened right now. We just, re <laughs> we just recalled this. And I, the thing is, I remembered it. I was scared to say it because I didn't know for 100% sure. Three yeah. years ago, I walked into a Wells Fargo to open up a bank account for Tony D2 Wild, the channel we're on right now. This is Leo real. was my bank banker, and he a, did everything for me. I was a business banker. At yeah. the time, we were talking about business. I was telling him about the videography and the stuff I was doing. He was telling me about him doing this thing called Vintage Solutions, where he was selling vintage clothing. Three years later, he has his own store. Three years later, Tony D2 Wild, the channel is big. Love we did track. not even know. Law of Attraction. We, did, we didn't even know, like, I did not even, I swear to God, guys, I just hit up, I did not know. Like, the thing was, I was telling him, was I was already following him, but I did not know that it, the name changed and all that. I did not know what had actually happened, but things like that happen. When you stay focused on what you do, he still focused on what he was doing. Do you even work here, No, I jumped Why? off the porch. Why? Because you're good here, right? Yeah. Like, you stay focused, you see what happens. Yeah. We checked it out. We really appreciate the, the, appreciate the hospitality. We're gonna do some shopping, okay. and we're gonna meet back up at, at the end. All right, so let's okay. get to it. You know what time? Let's it is. go. So what 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 plays like what is this area usually? Do you do you usually do like sections or something when you're trying so to? So pretty much we kind of switch it up every time you come in. It's gonna be a different style like depending on season too. Yeah, depending on season. Um, sometimes we do put a couple grills out um, during different times. So yeah. You got the Levi's right here. Yeah, OG oh. Levi's. You're looking at like a 1994 piece, original piece, going for a steal. I seen this on your Instagram. It was yeah. going for like 90 yeah. bucks. How much you guys doing it for in here? 30 bucks. 30 bucks, man. So Can't beat that. 90 bucks online. These nuts can last all night. 
shit. Classic. <laughs> I'll buy that. Oh, shit. he's hitting it from like okay. He's on I'll buy it. that shit. Hang hang on for the ride of your life. Oh, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. See, money's gonna buy that. That's the original 1992. Piece. Miley. Where yeah. you at, Miley? Yeah. It's your dad. Yeah. <laughs> 1996 Olympics, man. Classic right here. And it's the three panel. Yeah. I might have to try call away. I might have to. I'm yeah. gonna put him. Oh. Whoa, slow your roll. I'm talking too fast. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like these, this one. These too. are very popular. Nothing beats our Olympics. Not yeah. Atlanta Olympics gear is always the best, bro. Exactly. Trust me. Like, uh, nothing is going to beat it. Up here, man, I see a couple classic denim jackets on deck, yeah. too. Got some guest pieces up there. Paco, Penn State, Eagle Boy, and then we got the OG Doing too. Yeah, That's this is something. What is this? Homie? So, British Knights. I've uh, seen it before. It's, it's a big deal uh, in the culture. You know, back in the day, you had your British Knights on your feet. Uh, this is the Merc. So, whenever you get the Merc with stuff, like OG Jordan Merc, this yeah. is OG British Knight Merc. Like, just catch the details. They don't make things like this anymore. Now, guys, we're going to move over to the athletic wear. Something I was really looking forward to right here is. It's some of the classics here. All these are vintage champion. I'm seeing a lot of champions. We got a couple of tanks for couple. the like for the people who want to hit the beach and just yeah. cool variety. Charlotte, this is Alonzo Morning. Yeah. Razorback, Arkansas. It's like a practice jersey or something, yeah, right? It's a fun piece, you know, just something cool. Somebody wants something different. New Jersey. Yeah. Van, oh, Nick Van Horn. Nick Van yep. Horn. You know yep. Dallas. Mashburn. Mm -hmm. So yeah, oh. So we got here a classic. This is fully embroidered as well. The Clyde yeah, Drexler. stitch. You put, oh, you guys got the, so you guys got the yeah. versus tag on it too? Yeah. Drexler for the 240. Yeah. Now like, crazy. like is all this stuff up here for sale as well though? Like what? We always start here. Everything has a price, but some of these things up here uh, aren't for sale. Uh, we've sold tons of things from this show in the yeah. past. But the weedy boxes, those are, those are not for sale. Oh, it just depends uh, on the price. Yeah, right? it depends <laughs> on the price. It really does. It really we got does. a classic. Fubu over here though. Yeah, just an old school piece. They're uh, making like Fubu's making a rise back in the popularity, <laughs> but not from the new stuff. It's from the yeah. old stuff, right? Yeah, it depends on the person. You know, <laughs> that was an old stock room. So we pretty much we do it sometimes um two for twenty or you can okay. catch it for uh just twenty bucks. Depending on the day you two come for in. 20? Two yeah. for yeah, you get two what? for twenty. What's yeah. the what's like the most craziest thing you had happen in the shop? <sighs> Crazy question. What's the craziest? Like the weirdest thing? or craziest? Uh, yeah. Um, we're getting ready to close the shop down. This is the first time like I ever like met any of the Migos. Yeah. And like I was closing the shop and freaking takeoff at the door and I'm like, what the? <laughs> I was what? like, I was like, oh, he's like, I'm trying to show up, man. I was like, shoot, let's do it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So like, that was one of the craziest. Another crazy one. Shift over here. Oh, right here. Yeah, right here. So this is, so I, I got that. this guy, by the way, is a classic 1996. These are the seats that were used in the Olympics at, at Fulton County. One, two, and three. Yeah. And one, two, and three, classic. Yeah, I got back in town. Guy was like, yo, I got something for you. I was like, yo, pull up. He was like, yo, he had the chairs on the back of his truck. I was like, holy crap. Like, yeah. First three chairs. That's a staple. That's this crazy. right here is our, our classic crazy. Atlanta crazy. piece, guys. Yeah. And then right over here, I see a lot of classic jerseys we got going on. A couple of football Jamal football. Anderson, one of the greatest <laughs> and most Run disappointing. <laughs> Running back. Yeah, <laughs> like his career. He was great, but man, he got yeah, fucked yeah, up. That's what it was. I see a dope of Dan Marino. Yeah, Marino. 40 bucks. Chicago Bulls. Old school starter. You'll see like Martin Lawrence wearing a lot of those old school script uh, starter jerseys. Mm. Um, so that's like crazy grip. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chipper Jones. Yeah, nice brave starter, Chipper Jones piece. Real clean, you know. Mike Piazza, I used to love Mike Piazza. He was a, he was a hard, hard body motherfucker though. He used to buck. One of the, one yeah. of the greatest p pitch uh, catchers. That colorway is just so yeah. clutch. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. We got a Hawks warm up jersey right here. Old school champion. For 80 bucks. Yeah, that's kind of long, but this yeah. is like, is this, a, is this a big boy or just that's like, a, I know a, these are, they, 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 I, I should, we should yeah, be running like, it up on that one. They, cause they usually tuck this stuff in, like yep. this is like this, yeah. that's why it's so long. You know, yeah. real jerseys are like, them yeah. shits are long. Fantastic. Yeah, this is, this is, this is back in uh, Matumbo days. Mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and then we got this Detroit Tigers. That's crazy, Tigers. Matumbo's nephew was in here yesterday. Word? Yeah. He came through. Like this one. Starter. Starter. Yeah. Tags and everything too. Yeah, desktop. More sports. Yeah, this is more sports. Versus the variety tees. 
feel the paint, man. I don't like stuff like that anymore. Yeah, the print. I mean, this is like, what the heck? What year is this? Yeah, this one's probably dated '92. And it's still yeah. not faded, Four not hours. touched at all. Clean. Yeah. Adult large. Yeah. I'm gonna go with this one. I'm definitely. I'm. I'm. I'm going at the at the Olympic stuff. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna have some fun with it. Classic Olympic stuff, man. I was only I was too too young to really like. I was there. I was at Centennial, but yeah, I didn't know what I was doing. Hey, man. So like, this is you know, my grandfather took me there, man. And okay. Now, <laughs> this weird. is probably my favorite section. Right. right here. I'm you still you messing with it. I yeah. love the I love the hockey jersey stuff. I love the the jackets. I'm, I, I I I try to wear jackets as much as possible because. When you're dressing up, you actually get the Already nice know. layering, you know what I'm saying? Know. And right in the front, you got the penguins right here. This is Pittsburgh penguins, right? Pittsburgh? Is this Pittsburgh? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Pittsburgh penguins. And these are going for 60, which is not bad. Okay. Oh, jackets. Yeah. New Jersey Devils. It's good prices. Yeah, I mean, and all this is embroidered, by the way. All this is embroidered. St. Louis. That's a crazy one. Yeah, this National, National Predators. Predators. Yeah, that's a crazy one. More penguins. Okay. Cleveland, Cleveland Indians, Indians. Yeah, New York Rangers. Yeah. I mean, we got my oh, old mighty mighty ducks. Yeah, this, this is a starter. Yeah, yeah. Not your DTR. Yeah. Poo -poo, this is the OG. The starter. This is yeah. what started the starter. Yeah. This is OG. <laughs> this is classic this is right here. Old school Nike. Pieces old school Nike. With the great Forty tags. bucks. Forty bucks. Yeah. Got that. Whoop. Got more. Yeah. More. What is this one? What is it? 30 bucks. Yeah, back in the day, you probably saw them like at JC Penney's and stuff. Is it, does it have a specific one or is this 96 probably also? That's the 96 era. 96? Yeah. That's crazy. You picked I seen, that up yesterday. I seen, is this the polo this on the TV? Oh. This is, I picked this up yesterday. Oh. Yeah, you might want to zoom in on this. Damn, what kind of damn printing is yeah, that? Make that? Cement enough. printing on here. 1989. 1989 MTV. Oh, the back doesn't even, doesn't even, you don't even know what he's. Don't make stuff like that no more. Yeah, that's crazy. Steel. So right here is the premium rack you said? Yeah, this is like our premium rack. You got original tour tees. Uh, just a, things that are a little more than your average price points around so what's, the shop. what's this going for? Uh, it just depends. Things can range from minimum as low as 60 bucks, and it can go all the way up depending on what it is. Okay. I see you got here the Supreme, of course. Yeah. To make it known, this a nice two hundred dollars. Yeah, so, what's some of the standout pieces in here you feel like? Um, things that are sentimental to me. Um, yeah. I'm big. Oh, yeah. This is something I'm big on. Oh, Freak Me. Uh, this That's is a, a classic. This is a gem. That's a classic. You know, right we didn't there, get Freak Me '99. Yeah. But just imagine if you had the Falcons win the Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. This is one. Of a lot situations. of kids in Atlanta was born because of Freak Me. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I mean. Think of spring break at Cancun or Panama People's City, like that. Foot. Like girls twerking on the cars. Like, look, I can't tell you. I was I was a little kid at the time. This is a crazy piece. OG, guess. 1989. What we got it going for? 60 bucks. 60 bucks. Steel. Oh, 1997. Real tortillas, guys. Yeah. The real, not the like he said, the not the not the urban outfitters, but they just printed <laughs> right now. This is what when Bone Thugs was on tour, this was yeah, made. Exactly. You feel me? Exactly. Anti social social you know, club. You know, 80 bucks, dead stock, never worn. Uh, and all this is like you said. This is from the time I seen this Supreme tee right here. Uh, yeah, the jersey. The jersey. One twenty. Steel. <laughs> Steel. Got that like All Star and Detroit Piston effect going on with it. There's no, one eighty on this piece. One one oh, okay. Steel. They go out. Uh, like you said, you came through recently. It was like, where the satins at, man? Yeah. Somebody bought them. Sat, Somebody had, bought them. Tons of satins. Like at least how many pairs of that? I, I want to say I had like five pairs. Five and just gone. Yeah, just gone. gone. Yeah. So you see here, man, Space Jam, Safaris, 72 and 10s, Columbia's, pretty much the standard that's needed. But these, there you go, you are the guy. ones that the state. are, are <laughs> they're, 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 they mean a lot. And uh, you hit it. You yeah, hit it, bro. if that was my size, it would not be. Here. Yeah, this, this <laughs> is the size one I've seen. That, yes, that's the one. They're sitting there. You hit that. One, and the story behind this, somebody put these on the shelf too early at the mall. For real? Yep. And that's how we got our hands on these. Here? In uh, Atlanta, Atlanta, Mall? Atlanta, Georgia. Somebody put them on the shelf too early. Some champs is messing up with somebody. Too early. And we got the receipt. No foo foo here. Rapid Sevens, yeah. classic. 100 bucks with box. 100 bucks with box? box? You about to buy them. <laughs> 100 bucks. How much? What size is this? Uh, I want to say probably like 11. I want to say. All right, Leo, I picked out some of my gear. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to see how much it comes out to, and then we'll just shop with you there, man. Let's get to it. Let's get it. Gotcha, bro. Wow. 
Alright, All right, bro. Leo, so what's the damage, bro? Man, you got 143.20, man. Is that the fam discount, though? Man, you know I got Throw you. I want a couple, like. Bro, okay, I got you. Bro. Friday, we got Public <laughs> Enemy, Beastie Boys, and I gotta get the Roger Rabbit. Yo, he likes to be a penny pincher sometimes. <laughs> I gotta get the Roger Rabbit, man. Throw these in here for your boy, man. All you right, already know what it is, man. <laughs> I need some collection pieces as well, man. We got it here early. They're about to go a line is started right now, so it's getting kind of crazy out here, yeah. man. Yeah. Leo, man, thank you so much for having us come through and showing the hospitality. You man. already know, First man. ATL, you already know what it is. Where can they find you? Let them know everything, man. Yeah, we're in the heart of East Atlanta Village. Uh, you can catch us at 493 Flat Shows Ave. Uh, you can Google us on Google Maps versus ATL. Uh, we're also on Instagram, um, VSATL. Um, you can shop with us at uh, VSATL.com. And let them know that Tony D sent you. You might get a little hookup. You yeah, might, we, we might have an incentive for you. Just come through. Let them know Tony D sent you. And you already know what it is, man. But we out, man. Thank you so much. And we will see you again, brother. All right. Thank you, man. Appreciate I'm out. you, man. Peace. Peace. Yo, man, shout out to the homie right here, Al3, man. He just gave me this fanny pack vintage right here. Is this from the store, too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Atlanta Braves with the pins. Hey. And I make them. Summer. Oh, you make them? Yeah. What's your Instagram and stuff, man? Uh, Al3 Vintage, bro. Al3, all right, I'm going to check them out. Make sure to link down below as well. So you, you do like a buy, a lot of uh, buy, selling, and trading, yeah, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's dope. That's dope. So check free. Oh, okay. Back. You got the. Okay. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that. Yeah, they well, all right, man. Hey, shout out to him and thanks, homie. Uh, thank you, bro. You already know. Yeah. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like, you comment down below. Comment anything you would like to see different or something I need to improve on. I feel like I don't know whether to do more of the owner talking or more of the shopping or if I need to be doing a lot of the talking while I'm shopping so I don't have them split up like that. Feel free though to comment down below of what you would like to see more and how to make it even better. I hope you guys enjoyed this one more than the first one. And I know it was kind of long, so maybe that should be one thing. Let me know a good time frame between 10 to 15 minutes or between... 15 to 20 or if this was a perfect timing let me know down below guys i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next video it's your boy tony 2 wild checking in checking out peace